everybody, it's Harry from Super Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. You guys know that I love Texas style sausages, in fact, sausages of every kind. In my uh, classes that I teach in my backyard a couple of times a month, I usually teach at least five to six different kinds of sausages. And I'm one of those people that, you know, I will fly across the country just to taste sausage. A lot of the best sausage that I like is kind of Texas style. They come from Lockhart in the uh, that area of Texas. And uh, it's basically a very simple beef sausage with lots of pepper, a little bit of touch of cayenne, a little spicy, salty style. So you guys always ask me, what do I do with all these leftover brisket trimmings that I have? Sometimes I throw them in the Instapot to make some kind of a beef stew, or a lot of times I actually turn it around and make some Texas style sausages. So I have a bag of natural casing here. We're gonna talk you guys through an episode. We're gonna make some hot peppery brisket sausages. Uh, kind of like a Texas style. In my future recipes, I'm going to show you guys all the different kind of sausage recipes uh, that I've done over the years. Sausage is a wonderful, wonderful way to kind of repurpose all the leftover trimmings. All cultures in the world make sausages, so if you go around the world, I could just start a YouTube channel just making sausages from around the world. But in today's episode, I'm going to keep it simple, show you guys a very, very basic, simple, but super delicious Texas style brisket sausage. <laughs> the uh, natural hog casing and uh, you can buy different kinds uh, I got this from uh, the uh, online store Amazon and the link is in the description it comes packed in salt and uh, what you want to do is you want to take them out and uh, basically take it out and then, then wash it in the water so It's kind of dry, so we're gonna let it soak and get it get soft. One bag of casing, like so, will yield you about, uh, oh, about a dozen hog casings. So I have about a dozen here, which we unpack. The first step in making sausage is to make sure that your chunks of uh, brisket that's cut into sort of a one inch dice uh, is in a very cold refrigerator. So I have my chunks sitting in the refrigerator. We are at about 20 or uh, 28 degrees nice and cold. You want to always begin with very, very cold meat. You can use any kind of grinder you want, meat grinder, but the one I have is the Baolia and you can find this on Amazon. Uh, you can also attach it to your kitchen aid with a little attachment and you'll see my uh, video on how I made Spam, homemade Spam, I use the kitchen aid attachment. Once you have your meat super chilled, cut into one inch dice, you want to make sure that you also freeze the different cutting instruments. So let's assemble the uh, unit here. This is uh, called the horn. This is where the uh, meat is uh, kind of uh, put through. We have a cutting blade, like so. And uh, we have a die. There's different kinds of size die, but I like the coarse one. This is, uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch die. And then you have kind of the screw that kind of goes in and pushes everything through into the cutter, cutter itself. So you pick up the horn and you put in the uh, auger here. We'll put the cutting blade here so it sits properly. And then you put the die on. This is a coarse one. And uh, they are also final ones that you can use. Screw on the cap here. Okay. Insert it into the grinder. Fasten the screw. Okay. 
Okay, you do a check. Okay, it's working, ready to go. After you finish grinding, it's always good to go ahead and refrigerate the meat again. So keep it nice and cool while you prepare the uh, seasoning and the slurry that will be used to season the sausage meat. We're going to make the slurry now. I'm going to do, teach you guys a really, really simple Texas style rub here that we're going to use. We're going to use basically salt and paprika and some black pepper and that's it. With some water. The uh, ratio of the salt to the meat is very important when you're making sausages. It's a three hour debate and Jerry Springer fist fight as to how much salt needs to go into kind of a Texas style beef sausage. I like about one and a half percent, but you know, your needs and preferences may vary. What you want to do is you want to weigh the meat like this wheat here is about six pounds. So if you do the math on the Excel spreadsheet and if you don't know how to calculate it, uh, just you know, ask me and I'll give you some rough guidelines. This is about six pounds of meat. I need 1.5% of salt. What that means is that if you have 100 pounds of ground beef, the amount of salt I want to put in is one and a half pounds. So not rocket science. So when you calculate 1.5% of six pounds, you get essentially one and a half ounces, which is right here. Uh, this is about 42 grams for those of you who are metric minded who are watching my videos from overseas. So one and a half ounces. So the guideline is sort of about one ounce uh, per four pounds of meat. And uh, if you want to use a teaspoon, it says oh, just slightly over two teaspoons, maybe 2.2 teaspoons. I'm sorry, what am I saying? No, 2.2 uh, tablespoons. I'm holding a tablespoon here of salt. That would equal about 1.5 ounces or about 42 grams for about six pounds of meat. For those metric people, six pounds is approximately, uh, what is it, uh, 2.7 kilos or something like that, or 2,700 grams. So that's what you do. I have a cup of cold water here. I'm gonna dissolve the salt. It's a bit of ice in there. So you're gonna make a slurry, a salty slurry. And the liquid also help with the, keeping the uh, sausages moist. So I'm going to now put the salted water into the meat. So uh, I have about a little bit of paprika. How much you put in is up to you. I like my sausages slight, slightly red. So this is about, uh, I want to say maybe about two tablespoons here. I'm going to just stop and tell you kind of how much I have. And I just like to coat the surface one nice even layer like so. So that's probably Let's see here, that's a bit left. So I want to say maybe about one and a one quarter tablespoon of paprika. It doesn't really matter how much you want to put, it's up to you. You don't have to use paprika, you can use uh, like mild chili powder, hot chili powder, it's up to you. Uh, I also have here some black pepper. So black pepper, I like a lot of black pepper. So it's kind of, your mileage will vary. So put as much as, or as little as you like. I like a really peppery style Texas sausage. So this is about three tablespoons going into six pounds of ground brisket. And a little bit of cayenne. Cayenne is very hot, so depending on how fresh your cayenne is, some cayennes are very hot. My cayenne is about medium, so I'm gonna put in about maybe half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper here. It's gonna make it nice and spicy style Texas sausage. I'm gonna mix it up now. So when you mix it, is try, try not to overwork the meat here. Just enough to kind of get everything mixed up. Because when you run it through the grinder and uh, put just in the sausage, it's gonna get mixed up anyway. So just gentle mixing with it. When you work it this way, you're gonna be able to create kind of a natural way of kind of binding, like a meat binder. So the proteins will start to bind and then when you make the sausage, it's going to be kind of nice and kind of like a little, oh, it makes its own meat glue. You want to wash your uh, casing like so, and some water through it. All right, the first thing we wanna do, we wanna prime it. So I'm gonna leave the opening here and we're going to prime it so that once I get some meat coming out, I will tie a knot in. Okay, so I have some sausage here. 
like that. All right, we're gonna maintain a little bit of pressure here. stuffed about six pounds of uh, brisket ground brisket sausage and uh, we're ready now to kind of make it into links uh, that look like this but before we do that uh, we have to make some holes uh, with some tiny pin pricks onto the uh, sausage itself uh, you can use a, a, a kind of a sausage tool but I, I don't have one so I'm going to improvise here with uh, some of these hypodermic needles that I use to inject brisket with so hold it so and we're just gonna create some pin pricks here so that it kind of alleviates the uh, pressure okay. now we're ready to roll into links uh, you can roll in any size links you want uh, this this size is pretty good like so and uh, what you want to do is you want to roll it the opposite end. So for example, if I'm starting it this way, like so, scrimp it here like that. All right, a couple of turns, and then this one, I'm going to go the opposite way. Like okay. And this one, we're going to go the other way. So, I gave it a quick rinse and uh, it's now ready to rest. I'll let it rest overnight in the refrigerator, kind of like it, let things dry up, let the flavors melt, and uh, we'll smoke it the next day. Sausages are beautiful. Whoa, look at that explosion of juiciness. Yeah. You can even see a nice smoke ring on the sausage itself. See that? Absolutely beautiful. And look at how juicy it is here. Very good. It's a beefy, smoky. The saltiness is just on a tad saltier so uh, i use one and a 1.5 percent of salt uh, maybe in hindsight maybe 1.3 percent uh, but this is really 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 good let me try another piece here all right this one's much better the other one's a little bit salty but this one seems much better so oh, this is perfect so here you go our beautiful texas style sausage for you guys to try at home so not that hard to make sausage from uh, black brisket trimmings so if you guys want to try it, yeah, give my recipe a shot. Super simple, just a couple of ingredients. And uh, it's very satisfying to be able to make your own sausage, especially when they look and taste like that. So there you have it, Texas style sausage homemade. Not that hard to do if you know what you're doing. So thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Please like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.